apart from the blood investigation which we do like complete blood picture renal profile liver profile and stool examination fecal calprotectin which is a marker released by the leukocyte and we can do this test in the stool which is very specific and very sensitive for diagnosing inflammatory bowel disease and can also rule out irritable bowel syndrome so a fecal cal protecting more than 215 a new case is almost uh, significant uh, and associated with the inflammatory bowel disease uh, it is not only inflammatory bowel disease in fecal cal protecting can also be elevated in other disorders like malignancy and tuberculosis but the level of uh, fecal cal protecting rise is more in inflammatory bowel disease as compared to non-inflammatory bowel disease whereas in irritable bowel syndrome it is usually less than 250 usually it is in the range of 50 to 100 so very important marker fecal calprotectin the other test which we do is in the blood test is c-reactive protein we also do esr to see elevated if it is elevated again suggest a chronic disease apart from this what else we can do is p anka and aska because these are the blood tests which gives you either it is ulcerative colitis or a Crohn's disease. We can also do a diagnostic test which is like colonoscopy, most important gold standard test for diagnosing inflammatory bowel disease, especially in ulcerative colitis. In Crohn's disease, we may have to do more tests like endoscopy for involvement of food pipe, stomach or a duodenum. Because as I mentioned earlier, Crohn's disease can involve multiple places it can involve large bowel can involve small bowel in 30 30 percent of the cases can have a mixed picture it can involve stomach some part some part of the stomach and then can present with the nodule and pain in abdomen <clears throat> apart from this the other test which can be done is that we can take a biopsies so what we do essentially in colonoscopy is we use a flexible tube we pass it through the anal canal under sedation and we examine entire large intestine which involves rectum, sigmoid, descending colon, transverse colon, ascending colon and cecum and we enter into the small intestine called terminal ileum and we when we examine all these areas for the features of inflammatory bowel disease which can show ulceration which shows friability means on just touching also the patient may have a bleeding there then in that case if you find frank ulcerations which are continuous the possibility of ulcerative is high but if the ulcerations are patchy then the possibility of Crohn's is high 